Good day, brethren. Welcome to this conference. Shall we pray? Our mighty Father, we thank you for this conference. We thank you for starting this program. And we thank you for the people you have gathered from various places to come and listen to your word and to come and get prepared to take over the land for your name and for your glory. Father Lord, we pray that in this summit, you will touch the heart of people, that you will open the eyes of all the participants, and you will prepare them to fulfill your divine plan and purpose for this land. Father, I pray that as they are listening to this word, and as they are going to listen to all other messages, that you will challenge their spirit and open their eyes to see the purpose for their living. And they will open their eyes to see the purpose for their being here in this land to fulfill your plan and purpose. Thank you, Father. I pray that you will grant me your chance that I speak, that with this short message, you will challenge your people. You will open their eyes. You will enlighten them. And you will prepare them to take over the land for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I welcome every one of us to this conference, the one-day conference on the awareness of drama ministry in Europe. It is the beginning of a great thing, and God has started. He has started in a small way, but he's going, to, he's going big. He has a destination. He's going to do a big thing in this place. We thank God for your life. We thank God for having the time, sparing the time out of your tight schedule to be here. I believe that the Lord is going to speak to you. He's going to touch your life. He's going to challenge you in the name of Jesus. The theme of this summit, as we have been told, is um, drama ministry, the weapon for this time, the weapon of drama and film evangelism. And as we look at it in this conference, God is going to open our eyes to see how strong, how powerful drama ministry is and the potency of drama to take over the land for the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read from this passage. I'm going to read from this passage, and I will read other two passages for the beginning of this message. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, it says, But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boosters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to the parents, and unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderer, without self-control, brutal, despiser of good, and so on and so forth. That passage describes the spirit of this end time. It describes the situation, the spiritual situation of this time. I have a similar passage in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. It says, now the spirits expressly say that in the last time, some will depart from faith, giving heed to deceiving spirit and doctrine of demons. That is another description of this present time that we have. Then now, lastly, I want to read from Acts chapter 2, from verse 17. When Peter was speaking on the day of Pentecost, he said, And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see vision. And your old men shall dream dreams. Verse 18 says, And on my maid servant and my men servant, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And they shall prophesy. From those three verses, we could see that God speaks about this present time we have. The first thing is the revelation of the move of the forces of darkness at this end time. And the second aspect of the verses we just read is the move of God at this end time. Now, the theme of this conference, drama and film, effective weapon of evangelism. Drama and film, effective weapon of evangelism. We have come to the end time which the Bible had prophesied that we shall witness massive demonic manifestations and manipulations 
from the kingdom of hell. And that was why when we read in that second Timothy chapter 3 verse 1, they call this time the perilous time. And the first Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, it says, there shall be massive falling away from faith. Those are the description of the present time that we have. So we see an uncommon demonstration and manipulations of demonic forces and principalities with the use of the channel of film and drama. We see an unprecedented level of increase of the use of drama. In modern dramatic presentation and movie productions that center on occultism, satanism, and immorality, and violence all across Europe, America, Africa, and the rest of the world. If you look at the present time, you will discover that there is massive production of movies and there is massive presentation of dramatic, dramatic, um, dramatic, dramatic substance that has to do with occultism, satanism, immorality, and violence all across the world, Europe, America, Asia, and the rest of the world. Now, even simple and captivating children drama are becoming occultic and satanism. If you look at many of the children drama and children movies these days, you will discover that there are infiltration of satanism and occultism and violence in it. Children drama are no longer used to be what they used to be. In those days, when we watch children drama and children movie, they are very, very enticing, very interesting, and children are very, very comfortable to sit down and watch children movies. And adult has no problem leaving their children to watch children movies and children drama. But these days, it's not so. If you look at many children movies today, many children drama today, if you look at it very well, you will see satanic signals. You will see violence. You will see infiltration and introduction of immorality in a subtle way. And that is to give us an understanding of the move of the forces of darkness at this end time with the use of dramatic presentation and the use of movies in a subtle way, capturing the mind of people. 80% of children's movies are now laced, sandwiched, mixed up with witchcraft and sorcery. And if you look at many children's movies today and many children's drama, even cartoons, you will see destructions inside it, introduction of violence into the heart of children. And that is to show you how the devil is holding drama and movies and dramatic presentation this end time. He is not joking with it and he's working with it and he has a goal and he has a purpose. Today, the emergence of computer technology has rapidly developed the use of drama and movies. Ordinary children cartoons have now been upgraded to 3D animation movies. It was unlike before, before you see ordinary cartoons. But today, there is technology development that is centering on movies and drama. Development of 3D animation movies, we have development of 3D computer movie games, we have movies. Movies can now be seen on our mobile phones and iPad. There is 3D cinema and newly developed 3D television with 3D goggles. All these things just shows that the devil is not just taking drama and movie and dramatic presentation with levity. He is working with it and developing it and he's achieving his goal with it and he has a purpose for it. I'm just making us to understand from the theme of this seminar, drama and theme, weapon of evangelism, and making us to see how the devil also is using drama and theme as his own weapon too. After that, then I will now speak on how we children of God can use it as a weapon of evangelism. But before I speak about that, I want us to see that we are not the only one in this battle. And that what we are doing, the gift God has given to us, the gift of acting, the gift of drama, 
The devil means business with it. He wants to use this also. And he has a purpose for it too. So that we children of God that God has called into this, into this ministry, we children of God that God has given this type of calling, this type of, this type of ministry, this type of gift, we will be serious with it. And we will not joke with it. Because we will understand that there is a spiritual warfare on ground. It is either the devil captured the land, or we, children of God, captured the land for the Lord Jesus. But I'm making us to see how far the devil has gone, so that we can see how far God wants us to go. Now, the movie renters have even gone far. They have gone from the era of VHS and VCD. Now we have, they have gone from VCD to DVD. They have gone from DVD to laser disc and to Blu-ray Blu disc. And the movie pictures are, are becoming more sharper and brighter with each technological development. So what I mean by this is that the movies, the way we used to see it five years ago, is not the way we are seeing it today. There is technological development. And the thing is developing. And as it is developing, the question we should ask ourselves, is it having strong spiritual impact in the kingdom of God? If you look at it, there is development of movies. We are, we, we, the, the, the VHS was existing before. We are now, then we come into DVD. And then DVD is becoming obsolete. We are going into Blu-ray. Normal mere television is becoming obsolete. We are going into 3D television. The normal cinema is becoming obsolete. We are going into 3D cinema. Things are increasing. And all this increase is expanding the propagation of immorality through movies, through drama. Now, the challenges before us is this. If the devil is, if the devil is making use of this technological development, what are we going to do as children of God that has this gift, that has this calling? What are we going to do about it? Should we not rise up? Should we not sit up? Should we not receive challenge from God? Should we not receive anointing of the Holy Spirit? And make sure that the gift God has given unto us, we rise up and we face this Goliath, this giant, and do something tangible with it. That is the essence of this conference. That is the reason why this conference is called that we might see the challenges God is bringing before us, that we might see the calling God is presenting before us, that we might understand that if we are given the call and the gift of acting and drama, there is a battle on ground for us. Now, this is this picture of the 21st century drama and movies. The 21st century drama and movie, as we have seen it, is increasing. The development is rapid. The drama ministry is dynamic. The drama is dynamic. Film is dynamic. It is not standing static. It is improving. This is what we know today. In about two years' time, there may be more development. And as the development keep on going, we children of God, we should catch up and, and take advantage of the development to bring souls to the kingdom of God with this same weapon which the devil is using against the world. Since the release of Harry Potter, Hollywood has been capturing the mind of our youth and children with movies on witchcraft, on sorcery, on occultism. More and more captivating Halloween movies have been made for kids and the youth. And therefore, what we mean by that is this. If you look at it right from the release of, uh, release of Harry Potter, some years ago, more and more children movies have been tending towards witchcraft. More and more children drama on television have been tending towards sorcery. You will see children disappearing. You will see children achieving serious feat, things that adults could not do. You see different types of children movies, different types of children drama depicting mighty things, depicting achieving 
great, unbelievable things that adults will not be able to achieve. Different type of children movies are coming forth, not glorifying the, not glorifying the Lord, but putting spirit of arrogance, spirit of disobedience, and spirit of violence in the heart of children. And what is the result of this demonic revival? The result of it is that children are getting more possessed with strange spirit of stubbornness and obstinacy. The youth are becoming more violent and disobedient, and they are disobedient to parents and leaders, and gangsterism and bullying are on the increase in our school. All this thing came forth out of what the children are watching. And this is just one of the objectives of the devil in using drama and movies to capture the heart of children and the youth. And this is giving us an indication that we children of God, we believers that have this type of gift, this type of calling, that we don't have it just without a reason. You don't take the grace of God in vain. If you discover that God has given you the calling of drama and calling of acting, the Lord wants you to understand right from this conference that there is a battle on ground, that the devil is fighting to take souls to the kingdom of the devil, and God has...